I'm Jessica Gaddeth, and this is your Tuesday evening KRQE.com webcast. We start with more winter weather on the way. Here's Mark Ronchetti. Yeah, another storm coming in here. It's going to take another day or so to get here. So for tomorrow, what we'll see is some increasing clouds, a little weather disturbance going to our south. That's not a big deal, but then the bigger one comes down from the north. This comes in during the day on Thursday. It will have a lot of cold air to work with, and because of that, anything that falls will be snow across the northern two thirds of the state. And we could well be seeing a lot of mountain snow with this storm and the possibility of some valley snow showers and a few inches of accumulating snow in some valley sections. More on that in the coming hours. An accident that killed four people yesterday is being blamed on a deadly combination of wind, freezing rain, and snow. Curry County Sheriff's deputies say a Toyota and Ford pickup hit head-on along U.S. 60 just east of Melrose. The four people inside the Toyota were killed instantly. They are Clovis resident 91-year-old Anthony Jesco and 73-year-old Bessie Klein, along with two Texas residents. The two people inside the truck were seriously injured. The accident is still being investigated. Another blow to the proposed reconstruction project at one of Albuquerque's busiest interchanges. The city of Albuquerque will not get funding from a federal grant to revamp a sale del Norte and I-25. The $93 million plan would include a nonstop flyover and new ramp. The city is putting in $50 million in sales tax to cover part of the cost, but was counting on either the feds or the state to make up the rest. State lawmakers have said finding the funding may be tricky. Join us for more news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.